The year is 1946, and ENIAC, the world's first electronic computer, is introduced to the public. The 100-foot behemoth promised to make calculations that normally took a human 20 hours and do it in only 30 seconds. But strangely, at the machine's debut, none of the programmers were introduced. In fact, it would be decades before any of them got any credit whatsoever. These programmers had something else in common. They were all women. Chief among them was Jean Bardick. Barely out of college, Jean's skills in mathematics landed her a job calculating ballistic trajectories during World War II. Because everything was done by hand, each calculation would take upwards of 20 hours. So it's not surprising when Jean, along with her female colleagues, were given the official title of human computer. Mathematical wizardry of these magic brains. But then, Jean caught wind of a project aimed at developing a new kind of computer, one that would do these calculations in a fraction of the time. The computer was called the ENIAC. That's the most remarkable thing I've ever seen. Although she had to apply numerous times, Jean was eventually selected to join the project as a programmer. But it wouldn't take long for her to help lead the all-women team. There was no manual, there were no classes. Instead, the team of programmers were put in charge of the ENIAC, a massively complicated machine with tens of thousands of moving parts, and told to just figure it out on their own. So they rolled up their sleeves and did just that. And in doing so, they designed the first modern computer program. Praise is what they deserved, but it's hardly what they got. While plenty of the men on the project were celebrated for the true milestone that the ENIAC was, the women were hardly ever mentioned. What's more, when the war was over, nearly all of Jean's team was fired to make way for the influx of returning men. Jean fought to keep her job, one of the few women to do so. But even after years of outstanding performance reviews, she was never promoted, and the work she and her team did was all but forgotten. It wasn't until 1996, 50 years later, that Bardic and her team finally started receiving the recognition for their truly groundbreaking work. And very clearly, there are men and women in that picture, but only the men's names were in the captions. It might have taken half a century, but now we know that the work that propelled computing forward and helped set the foundation of all technology we use today was done by this incredible team of women that history almost forgot. Reminds me we said frost child. Frost child, frost child. 